After about a month of not having any kind of trailer or teaser come out, well, a teaser or trailer that like wasn't a leak come out, we finally have something. So it's a little teaser from episode 11, Kwame's Choice Part 2, or Deflagration. Also, yes, for anybody wondering, this episode does have a release date. It's going to be released on February 18th by RTS, so this episode will be in the French dub. But anyway, this teaser starts off with Marinette sitting down at a lunch table and Adrian being the gentleman that he is, scoots her chair in and then sits down in his seat. I honestly cannot get over this clip. It's so cute. They're so cute. I can't. Although, I do have to say, I find this quite hilarious because like, when did Adrian even have time to do all of this? And like the fact that everyone just has like a normal table, but you have Adrian over here with the whole setup, like the tablecloth, the fruit, the flowers. I don't know why that's even funny to me. Ugh, I love them. Okay, anyway, but then we see Lila, Chloe, and Sabrina eating at the table together. Lila says something and Chloe angrily looks over at Adrianette while Sabrina just sits there happily eating, which is like my absolute favorite thing ever. But then Marinette being Marinette somehow falls out of her chair. So while Marinette's on the floor, Chloe ends up coming over and probably just says something extremely rude like she always does, which angers Zoe, obviously, as it should. So she ends up getting out of her chair and then we see Mr. Grest helping Marinette up, which is cute, but like... It just, it reminds me. Jokes aside though, this is actually extremely adorable, but next just honestly reminds me why I absolutely love Zoe so much. Basically, Zoe grabs Chloe's arm and drags her back to the table she was at and shoves her in her seat. And of course, everyone in the room starts cheering as they should because Zoe has come so far from Soul Crusher. Then we see Gabriel bring Natalie over to the painting of Emily and shows her something on the Alliance. And what he shows her is basically just like the evidence that Alia and Zoe are Ladybug and Cat Noir. Or technically Kitty Noir and Scarabella, but same thing. Which I just have to say, I love how Gabriel is like all happy and Natalie just honestly looks like she could not care less. She's like, why are you talking to me? I don't even like you. But Gabriel ends up going down to Emily and starts talking to her, probably just saying his usual Emily, we miss you so much, but you'll be back with us very soon. Thanks to my Akumas, it's only a matter of time before I take control of the miraculous. Merging them will grant me absolute power to reshape reality and finally reverse our past mistake. Then we see Natalie in her room looking at the videos Emily had made. She seems really sad, so I can't help but feel that she's probably upset because she didn't fulfill what Emily wanted, which is to have Gabriel not try to get the miraculous and just make sure that Adrian is happy. So, honestly, because of this, I can only imagine that this is probably one of the bigger moments that made her start to turn more on Gabriel. But anyway, the very last thing we see is Gabriel turning into Monarch, touching the rings to the Kwame's cage, and then opening and going into a voyage. Wait, would it even be going into the voyage? Or is it just creating one then teleporting? I don't know, he's going somewhere, and it's probably to find Alia and Zoe to get their Miraculous. 